Hello guys, welcome to our channel Knowledge Per Future Risk. Today our topic is um, current imbalances. So I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube that um, I didn't get any information about how to um, maintain the current proper when generators are running in parallel. So luckily I got an issue on onboard. So I've seen the problem with when two generators are running in parallel. So I've seen there one of the generators mainly imbalancing the current. So you can see the picture, this is our uh, number 2 generator, during parallel operation we have issue and the generator was uh, not maintaining the current. And so I will tell you how to find out the issue with the number 2 generator. So here you can see in the top of the box uh, the EVR was located uh, in this panel. So I will show you in last figure after finishing the troubleshoot. And this is the current, one generator is drawing more compared to other generator. So you have to you have to remember five points when the current is imbalances. Uh, these are the troubleshooting points. The major like the first point I want to discuss like a generator produces different voltage voltage. You have to see whether the generators are producing different voltages or not. The second point you have to see the generator drooping characteristics. Like you have to see the characteristics of generator when the other three compare with the two generators whether all the generators aware was same or not the third point whether like whether the cp phase is correct or not like in initially some when you're going dried up the time they will change you have to check that that is the fourth point like uh, check all wiring maybe it's some broken wire or short the fifth point the residual magnetism here they i am discussing it should be there uh, these are the five points you have to remember and coming to circuit diagram this is our electrical diagram i am checking the voltage when the generator is in offload condition these are the fuses i was removed sorry i am on my mistake it's not uh, i am checking here multimeter so you can see now i am checking one by one generator because i don't know which generator is giving me issue so i am offloading the one generator by one by one so i can check offload voltage when generator is without load how much voltage is drawing so i want to check each by one by one generator so i can configure okay. it like okay. whether each generator has an issue okay so here i am taking a one by one generator like first i start with number three from number two and number one like this or you can start with uh, any one of the generators up to you so I just open. I found these fuses uh, as I earlier discussed in the drawing. I am not going in near to the bus bar because it's very dangerous. So I am taking the near to the fuses because these were cables was coming near from bus bar as I show you figure in earlier uh, grab. So these are the fuses. Just wear the insulation gloves and the proper insulation mat, uh, and you have to take the proper multimeter. It's for our safety because you are playing with 440 voltage. So be careful. And so one has to be standby that is must and see i'm checking r2s s2t t2r T2 again i'm comparison with each and face and again i can figure it out like which generator is giving the correct reading when it is not in onload condition so finally i got uh, one generator that is number two generator i found that number two generator is issue so in in front of panel some ships have a potentiometer some ships have a vr knob voltage regulator knob if you change over that knob you can increase or decrease up to you because you have used the knob compare with other generator voltage this is the avr which was i showed earlier now after setting every voltage now two generators are running with same voltage with same current thank you